Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's just gonna be a quick video on a couple things that I got that were really cool. I got this uh, this game it's from 1958 called The Grey Ghost. And it's basically based on the Civil War from the South. It has all these really unique pieces and all that stuff. It has Confederate flags and game pieces. The game is actually 99% complete except it's missing one of the blue discs. It's supposed to be 30 of them and there's only 29. Other than that, the game board looks great and all the pieces are there. I got this at an auction house. It wasn't an actual auction going on, but they had like a yard sale outside the auction house and they were selling this game for $5. I picked it up, I listed it last night and then I uh, sold it this morning. So it, it was up for less than like 12 hours and I bought it for $5 and I sold it for 130 uh, with, with the shipping. So great pick. If you see it, pick it up and buy it for sure, but they're gonna be tough to find these games, especially when they're complete. So I got lucky on this one. The other thing real quick I wanna talk about is this boat that's behind me. A friend of mine from the thrift shop contacted me. I was already there at the store in the morning and got some stuff and then I came home and about an hour later I got a call from the store saying this boat came in and that they're gonna hold it for me and whatnot. So they held it for me. I went back down there and I bought it. I bought it for $9 and selling it now for I think $70 with the shipping. The boat overall is in great condition. It comes with the controller. Uh, there's no cracks or dents on the boat itself. It's very clean. So a really good opportunity that I was able to get from having a contact and I don't think it's gonna last very long as I already have a watcher and I already sent an offer for it. So I think it's not gonna last very long, especially during Q4 and with Christmas coming up, it's a great gift. So not super expensive, but it just goes to show again, like I was saying before, was having these connections either around or in the thrift shops is a big deal. If you can get people to be in your eyes while you're not there is a huge plus. Networking in this business is a huge deal. So you got to keep your contacts, create contacts, and that way you'll get more opportunities, cool items, and more sales. But with that being said, that's all it's going to be for this video. So I'll see you on the next one.